What's up, DC Nation? Welcome back to another video on DC Fandom. Now, we're actually going to be going over the Batman Joker War panel, and I was trying to do a reaction to it, but I feel like this whole panel, you can't really do a reaction to it. It's more just, you know, get, hear what all these writers, all these editors have to say about it, what to get excited about, and I'd rather talk about it than me just be like, oh, oh, that, oh, that's cool, oh, yeah, yeah, I read that comic. Like, I feel like if I did a reaction, guys, it would have been pretty boring, honestly. you just see me like, oh, just thinking about it most of the time. But still, I thought it was a good uh, panel, it was really good, seeing James Tynan actually talk with uh, Ben Abernathy, who's actually, like, the editor for all the Bat Family books. Like, that's a pretty big deal. But he pretty much hosted this whole panel. He talked to many different people. The first was James Tynan and um, Jorge Jemez. Now, I always call him George Jemez. I did not know his first name was Jorge. Like, I'm still going to call him George Jemez because I just feel like that sounds better, in my opinion. But still, it was cool seeing him talk and see pretty much George's perspective on the Joker War. Seeing how he came with like the punchline design, finding out that he was literally right, well not right, like drawing for the Batman comic while he was drawing for Justice League, that just shows his hard work guys. And also, like just seeing him talk about how he's loved being the Batman tiles and how he actually used to do manga, I honestly want to try out his manga. If you guys know down below any like manga comics that I did, I do know he did do, do some, alright, because in the panel he said he did that back then. So I like to read those, because even if the story's bad, you're going to get some really awesome art by George Demes. Now, James Tynion won this whole thing that the reason he did Joker War, because in like Scott Snyder and Tom King's run, they were more focusing on Joker as a solo character, where in this, they're focusing on Joker and the people around him, how they act. Pretty much like the Joker gang. That's what, that's what he said, right? And how he wanted to add something new to the character in that, and see like a new perspective of the people around him. So seeing all those clowns, especially I a new number two to Joker, aka a new girlfriend, aka a punchline, right? And seeing how Harley factors into this, how Harley and punchline like butt heads. That was really interesting seeing him talk about that and go on just like a whole talk about how he's trying to change the character. Like not change Joker as a character really big, but just add to it. And also going the whole thing that Batman, he's rich, right? So take away that fortune. Like just take it away and see how Batman fares. I really like that whole talk, that was really good. Now, we also saw um, pretty much Ben Abernathy talk to the Batgirl writer and the Nightwing writer, which the Nightwing writer is Dan Jurgens, and the Batgirl writer is Cecile something, right? I'm not going to say her last name because that's really hard to pronounce, but still, both of them talked about how they're really happy at joining this Joker War. Like, the Batgirl writer went on about how getting the Bat, uh, pretty much Batgirl's fam family, like the Gordon family, back into this, like James Gordon Jr. And guys, I actually have videos, I'll actually link down below. My whole Joker War playlist, I've actually reviewed every comic book about that's came out to this point about the Joker War, right? So you can check out my thoughts on all those single issues. But I've been really liking it, right? Back Rose World is pretty good, especially the ending of issue number 48. That was really interesting. Now, Dan Jurg is talking about Nightwing, how the old relationship between Back Girl and Nightwing, seeing Nightwing get controlled by the Joker, and how Nightwing returns from being Rick Grayson. That was really cool, and I know people give uh, Dan Jurgens like, and then some people didn't really like this run Nightwing, which I don't blame him. Like Rick Grace is a terrible idea, but Dan Jurgens saying, "Well, I had to do something with it. I made something out of it. I made a storyline out of it." And if you think about, it, he did. Like, yeah, it could have been way worse. He could have easily just been like, I'll just, you know, fill it in. Like, kind of just, like, phone it in. Because I don't like the idea either. No, he actually built, like, an okay storyline. It's actually delivering a really awesome storyline, awesome Joker War tie-in storyline for his final, like, Rick Grayson saga, right? And I like that. And I'm actually excited to see what Dan Jurgens does next. But, yeah, this uh, the whole talk with that, about all the different writers, the Bat Family books, was really cool. And I do like how the Joker War is spread across different books. Like, it's an event. It has to. But it actually feels like most of the books tie into the main um, storyline. Except for Batgirl. That one feels kind of out kind of new. They kind of need to fix that, right? Now, the last talk was pretty much Ben Abernathy talking to John Ridley. Now, it turns out John Ridley has a story in the Joker War Zone special that's coming out like the end of this month. And I'll definitely be reviewing that, guys. Like, we'll see Kasaja K maybe come back real again. We'll see also, uh, we'll see like Clown Hunter and Axe. Just be an awesome story. Like, an awesome, like, book with many, many different stories with, like, all-star artists. Like, Joshua William Williams will be on it. We got James Tiny. All these different stories I'm excited for. But the one that was at the forefront for this little interview between John Ridley and Ben Abernathy was pretty much a story about Lucius Fox. Now, this story is pretty much based on Lucius Fox, what he's doing during the Joker War, how he's pretty much having trauma, and it really sells the idea of his family. Like, we literally see an image 
of Luke Fox, the son showing up in the Batwing costume. Guys, when was the last time you seen that? That looks dope. I'm actually excited to see that. Like, I'll probably go rescue Lucius Fox. Let like, watch, well, you know, Lucius Fox got rescued by Batman, Batwoman, in Detective Comics number 1025, I think. Yeah. But still, it'd be exciting to see Luke Fox, Lucius Fox, the whole family. And we haven't seen that in a while. I'm excited to see that dynamic. Now, something I'm interested in is John Ridley says something happens in the Joker War that's going to affect uh, pretty much um, Lucius Fox really big, alright? Now, is that the death of a character, maybe the death of his wife, somebody close to him, something that's bad to happen to him? Now, obviously, I don't want people saying, well, something's bad already happened to him. Him having all that smiley face, Joker kidnapping him. Yeah, I get that. But that's the thing that we kind of disappoint because it's already happened. Like, that makes no sense. But if there's something else coming, I'm really interested. I actually guess theorize down below. What do you think will happen to Lucius Fox in this whole Joker War? But yeah, guys, those are all the interviews in here. That like, it was a very, it was 26 minutes panel. I do recommend you guys check it out. Uh, you see all these different perspectives for all these writers, how they create the storyline, what they're trying to pursue. And just seeing John really talk about how he had like a fear of getting to the story, but they just went for it. He went for this short story about Lucius Fox, and him diving into it was really interesting. I feel like that was the best part of the panel. You guys know what your favorite part of the panel is down below. But yeah, again, guys, I had to do a reaction to this because I think you agree with me. Like, I feel like if I did a reaction, actually, I, I was watching. I tried doing a reaction, but when I watched it over again, I was like, no, nah, that's not. There's no part that you could be like, oh, wow, that's a cool reaction. It's more like, okay, he thinks the same thing as me. Like, no, oh, that's interesting. Oh, oh, I'm interested in that. Like, it's the same stuff, right? I'd rather talk about it with you guys and get my thoughts on in this short video. But yeah, guys, comment down below tell me about this uh, Joe Ford panel. What was your big takeaway from it? What was your favorite, like, interview portion? And what are you most excited for for the Joker War? We now got, actually, this moment, we got Batman of 99, which I will will be reviewing, which has Nightwing and Batman teaming up. That's going to be awesome. And then, like I said already, at the end of this month, Joker War Zone, which, that gets me really excited, right? But yeah, guys, like me, give a big thumbs up. You should make sure to my next DC fan video. I'm going to be doing, I'll be trying to do reactions on the DC fan. It depends on what the panel's about. Like, I'll be obviously putting my headphones and doing a reaction, but if I don't feel like it's a big enough reaction for you guys, I'll make a video like this. That just goes with my thoughts. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and peace out.